Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Scorpio. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the first two weeks in April, so first through the 15th. What do we have for Scorpio? What do we have for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Quite a few. We're not going to take all those. What do we have for Scorpio? Summertime. Going to the beach. Something significant is going to happen this summer. Ooh, Phoenix rising from the ashes. This one came out reversed though. So you may be in a situation that, I gotta take it reverse, and it wasn't the intention, but I think that you've been in a, in a dark place, right? I think that you've been in an, but I think things are gonna change during the summer because summertime is a time of growth, okay? It's a time of vitality. So if you have been in a dark place and you have been feeling down, I feel like summertime things are going to change. What is this? Five, five, five. Expect the unexpected. You know, I wonder if somebody is is is. Uh, you know, this is a major life change. Something is happening. Something is going to happen. You are going to rise. You are going to rise above this. I don't think it's till summertime, though. Maybe May. And maybe it's May. May is spring still, right? May is still spring, but I just happened to look at these fives. Five, five, five. Expect the unexpected. Major life changes. There could be some power struggles. There could be some conflicts. This is a card of personal freedom. It's a card of letting go of the old and bringing in the new with the five of fives. The five of fives, the five, five, five. Um, this is divinely guided, major life changes. Happier times are coming. But obviously you are in a place right now, this doesn't look like it's a good place. Okay, I gotta be honest with you. But summertime, things change because this is a major life change. Maybe that's when you start to rise above a situation. Now, 555 is about choices. So it's about the choices that you make. So you have to make a choice to rise, okay? You have to, you have to choose to rise. You obviously have potential or that card wouldn't be here now this is this is you know in a dark place but you have the potential to uh, soar above all of this you know we got some boxing gloves here boxing gloves represent boxing all right they represent fighting Get ready to fight, perhaps, you know, or maybe you need to put the boxing gloves away. Hang them up. You know, maybe it's time to just stop fighting, stop, stop, stop getting in the ring. Now, remember I said fives are about choices. You, the choice is always yours. If you want a major life change and you want to get out of a dark place, maybe you just got to stop playing in the game. Boxing is a game. Stop playing. Hmm. You know, some of you may need to work on your health. Summer is a card of good health. You know, getting healthy. You need to get outside. You need to get outside in the light. You may need some vitamin D. It feels like there's 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 all there there could be a vitamin de deficiency here. Okay, I do feel like uh, you gotta hang up those gloves. That's what I feel like this message is. You need to, you need to stop playing. Stop playing with the, stop playing the game.
Although, I do think that you ex should expect the unexpected, okay? Because that 555 is expe Somebody may try to take you down. You know, they may try to take you down because that's going down and that's a fight. Somebody may be trying to take you down in some way. They may see your, you know, beauty or something like that. They see something and they're jealous. You know, this is extremely beautiful. You know, it's an extremely beautiful energy, but in the in the reverse, it's it's the opposite. But it feels like there's somebody that, and you really should be expecting the unexpected. Somebody may want to take you down. You may be glowing, okay, because of that summer t summer right next to that. You know, this is the heat is on, okay? The heat is on. Trust me, it is. By the way, this is my new deck. Um, if you want to purchase it, uh, the link is in my community tab, and uh, it will be in the description box of this video. E emotional outburst ahead between the 1st and the 15th. There will be an emotional outburst. Now, you could be dealing with somebody, you know, that is going to throw fit. They want to pick a fight with you in some way. Doesn't want responsibility. Now, this is reversed. Somebody is probably going to be taking ownership or they're going to be taking charge of a situation. They don't, they don't even, this is somebody that is probably extremely irresponsible, really extremely doesn't want responsibility. This is somebody that you cannot trust. There's somebody that, that, that you cannot trust. You got somebody here that I think they're, they're, they're jealous of your, or they're jealous or they're angry. They want to fight with you. They pick a fight with you. And I think it's because of your beauty or, or something about you. Your glow, maybe, or the way that you have risen. You know, it feels like you have risen already from the ashes. And this person just wants to take you down. Nine, nine, nine. Nine, nine, nine is, is closure. This is close to a completion, something coming to an end, because the next card is 10, which is completion. It's time for closure. This is a sign to move on from whatever this is. It really is. You need, and, and maybe you've been accepting responsibility for somebody else's actions. You know, no. Don't engage. It's time for you to move on. It's always your choice. So I feel like right now you are playing with somebody and you need to just stop. Don't engage. It's a power struggle. It is. We got one more card that I'm going to use the other deck. Money is more important than love. There is somebody that you are dealing with that is more interested in money than they are a relationship. They are more interested in stability. They're not interested in a relationship. Okay? And it is definitely time for you to hang up those gloves and make the decision. It's a major life change. You have to make the decision to close this chapter in your life, okay? Because whoever you're dealing with is not going to accept responsibility for their actions. And the only way is to take you down. And maybe it's because you try to hold them responsible for their actions. I'll show you what's on the bottom. New love entering your life. So you may have a new love entering your life. Again, it's your choice. It is your choice. So I think that you have to make a very important choice, okay? There's an opportunity for happiness because summer does bring happiness. It brings good health. It, it, it just makes you, summertime makes people happier. It does. So there is, you know, 
an opportunity for happiness. Things are going to change by summer should you choose to stop allowing this person to take you down and to bring you down and to put you in a dark place. So you're dealing with somebody that is uh, irresponsible, okay? And I believe that, you know, they may cause you to blow up. You may end up blowing up. It's time for you to move on so you don't have to keep doing this. You know, you think you don't have to keep getting in these heated arguments. So I do think there's going to be another heated argument. I do. And it may be because, it may be because you are starting to heal. Maybe you're starting to be happy again. And that's when, you know, shit starts to happen. When somebody sees that you are happy. Oh boy. Here we go. So... What do we got for Scorpio? Expect the unexpected. You're gonna you're gonna get into some sort of altercation with somebody. You are. The Emperor. Okay, you, you're dealing with somebody that is uh, wanting not wanting to be controlled, or they don't they don't want to be told what to do. Hmm. Now, the emperor is a person that is in a position of authority. I think that you are in this position right now. You are in this. I think this is your position. I think that you are going to have to make a head over heart decision. And it is not going to be an easy one. Okay, it's not. But you're going to have to do what's best. Okay, you're going to have to take take the responsibility and make the decision that is that is hard to make you you be ready for a battle be ready be ready okay you need to be ready you need to show no weakness all right i i do believe that that you are uh going to experience uh, some challenges okay you are Somebody wants to take you down. This is this is somebody that doesn't like your position. They don't like your stability. They don't like your security. They don't like where you're at. They don't like you sitting in that seat, the seat that you're sitting in. They don't like your victory, right? They don't like your position. They don't, they don't like that you are in control of some in some way. They want to take you out of that position, I'm telling you. So, could be dealing with a father figure. I'm not sure. Nine of Wands reverse. This is expect a challenge. You need to expect a challenge. You have a challenger here. Somebody's going to challenge you. This person that is going to challenge you, be ready to fight. Be ready. And I know you probably don't want to fight, but you better be ready. You're going to have to put, take out that stinger. I'm telling you what. There's hard feelings here. Somebody is hurt. They're hurt. You are dealing with somebody that is distrustful and they are overwhelmed right now. And they have some hard feelings. They don't want to accept responsibility for their actions. So they, they may... Uh, could be dealing with the Queen of Wands. Uh, Le uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I was going to say Leo with that summer card as well. Um, I don't know why I wanted to say that. But I'm not sure who you're dealing with. But I feel like you're dealing with somebody who wants control. This person wants control. They want power. And, the, and they want attention. You have an intention-seeking individual who is going to do something. This is an action-oriented person. This person does not have any fear. They're going to do something. They're going to do something to gain some sort of power and control over you. They want power. They want control. So I feel like they're going to they're going to pick a fight. I feel like they are.
Two of Wands. Two of Wands is a decision, and you do have a decision that needs to be made. This is a spur of the moment decision. Something could be happening very suddenly. You could be in a position where you have to make a choice and it may be a spur of the moment choice. Do you want to fight with this person or do you want to walk away? Do you want to go down that path? Do you want to go down that path? I think that you are going to be at a situation. You're going to be like, uh, it feels like you're in a situation where it feels like somebody is right in your face. I don't know why I feel that way. That's what I just saw in my head. And and I feel like you need to just walk away. I feel like you need to turn and go in the other direction. You need to do not even communicate with this person. Just keep walking. Um, this person may end up screaming because they are so upset that you are ignoring them. There could be a sudden departure here, you know, or a sudden, yeah, I think it's a sudden departure. I think that we're going to have a sudden departure. Somebody is suddenly leaving. And I think it's because it's too much. This is too much. This is overwhelming. There's too much fighting. There's too much darkness. There's too much uh, control and manipulation. I'm not sure if you're dealing with a narcissist. Somebody may be moving by summer, moving someplace better, moving someplace warmer, moving someplace where there's more light, you know. I do believe that something is about to go down, okay, and it is going to change your life. It is time to move on. You are dealing with an individual that is so focused on financial stability or they're so focused on their money or their so, or stability, period. They don't care about a relationship. And there's so much fighting going on that it may be, it feels like it's just overwhelming. It is overwhelming. It is definitely overwhelming. So I feel like you're at a point where you may need to move. You may need to move away to get away from this drama. It feels like we have drama here. I feel like this party is over. Somebody has been in a situation, maybe in a living situation, where it may have started out great. But I feel like it's over. This may be a commitment. could be a marriage. could be living together with somebody. This is not working out. This is very, very messy. It is messy. So I, I feel like... Or could we even be at a job? This is leaving and closing the door. This is like, I can't do it anymore. This is so much discontent. It's, it, there's no happiness here. Somebody may have married for money, you know, or something like that, or they got themselves into a position just for the status, and there's about to be a uh, major, uh, I feel like it's a major uh, argument of some sort that changes everything. Some of you could be dealing with a Taurus. Those fives are just a standing out at me screaming and I said May so I'm not sure if you're dealing with somebody that that's born in May um could be also dealing with an Aries whoever that you could be I feel like we're dealing with somebody that is in a position of authority and that you may have gained some authority and they want to take that authority away from you this is definitely a tug of war it is a tug of war and I do think that there could be some family issues going on here issues at home you know, this is not a happy home. It's not a happy uh, commitment. I do believe that there is going to be a decision that is made to move on because of an of a, uh, argument, you know. And I feel like it's a serious argument or a serious disagreement. Or somebody is going to get hurt even with that nine of wands reverse. I think that you should be expecting some trouble. Be on the lookout, okay? Um... Definitely be on. And there is somebody that is, is on the lookout with both of these cards. So there could be somebody that is uh, spying. You know, they're scheming. It feels like, and I don't need the Seven of Swords. I feel like we have a schemer here. I feel like this person is wanting to hurt you in some way. And it is sad. It is sad. So anyway, Scorpio, I think that you should expect the unexpected. You're dealing with somebody that is going to have an emotional outburst. And it could cause a sudden departure. 
Okay, this could be a father figure, could be a boss, person in a position of authority. This could be a business person, um, could be a ruler. We have uh, something going down. Something is about to go down. I feel like we have a very shallow individual here. This person is extremely shallow. And it's because of their previous wounds. They haven't healed from their previous wounds. They may have tried to bury their wounds with something else. And now they're, they're in a deep, 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 dark place. So there's going to be a conflict. Five, five, fives are conflicts. Next to that, these boxing gloves, get ready for a fight. And this is a big one. I think it's going to change somebody's living situation or commitment status or something like that. I do feel like you have, there's a new opportunity here because we had that new, what was it? New love entering your life. Whatever that new love is. It doesn't have to be a partner. It could be a new home. It could be a new job. It could be it's whatever it is. It's a new opportunity that is waiting for you, okay? But you have to take that step. You have to take that step. Somebody has to make a decision. And there's fear. There is fear because it's just, why are you waiting? Just do it. Just go down that other path. Walk away. Keep walking. Keep walking. Do not turn around and look at this person and fight back. Keep walking. Good luck.